Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's kind of like officially the last day of my staycation and, and my little colonoscopy-cation, whatever, from the first half of it. I'm incredibly sad about that. And I am so discombobulated after not having worked for so long that it's gonna, it's gonna take me a couple of weeks to get back in the groove. And I'm not looking forward to that, but say la vie, right? So, all right. We're gonna go get Bean, and then we're gonna go back, and uh, and then I'm gonna talk about some other shit that I need to show you. Let's get Bean. Bean has been gotten. Okay, kids. I managed to convince my lovely queen to go boot shopping with me. And there's a place not all that far away from us. Uh, in the meantime, it's been a pretty active morning. Whilst I went out she got to play with the cat who got a hold of a lizard that came in the door whilst I was gone. Poor little thing. Yeah, it it got pretty Messed fucked up. up. Yeah. yeah, and and crawled underneath the like the threshold or whatever of the of the door through the tiniest little gap. Yeah, so she, you know, we weren't sure if it was able to get out or not and then, you know, we just went about our day and then when I was getting up to go get ready, I noticed that the lizard was now draped over the threshold. So, I grabbed the cat and chucked him into the bathroom upstairs so he could have drinkies <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, she was able to open the door and let it out. After that, I was standing at the door and I noticed something in my periphery and there were two little itty bitty cute mice foraging in the yard for foods it, it's been wild kingdom today they're outside though but anyways so it is a gorgeous day out it is 83 degrees and sunny a little bit of a breeze not too gross humid of course we're not doing anything and we've been sitting in ac the whole time but we'll take it addendum she's got purple hair now <laughs> She's so colorful. <laughs> Addendum number two. We need to go to Target or somewhere and get bigger bandages because my road rash is sticking and pulling off of my shirt and it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Wild Kingdom continues. We have a black swallowtail butterfly habitat in our garage for storage that still has stuff in it, so going to, she's going to anyways, let the butterfly go. Ooh. Come outside with me. Let's go over to the greens. It's going to fly as soon as I open my hands, so do you have a good angle on it? Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Okay, on to the next thing. So here is that anchor little battery. Now, when I first did this, I did it with a hot glue gun. And it the, the first time I set it down at an angle, it popped right off. It wasn't sticking to the plate at all, and it kind of sucked. So everyone was like, you got to get that, that like, well, I ended up getting JB Weld. I'm not going to go through all the different kinds of things that there were. The JB Weld, it, you push the plunger and two different kind of things come out. You mix them together. There's a chemical reaction, and, and this is pretty much theoretically on here permanently. Um, the first time I did it, though, the black side came out and not enough of the white came out, and I mixed it up and I left it there for like six hours, eight hours, and it just peeled right off. Like it was still, like I could still push my fingernail until, and I was like, what the hell? So I peeled it off, cleaned it off again, squirted an equal amount now of the black and the white, mixed it together to get the gray, put it on here, clamped it, and I left it for like a day and a half. It ain't going anywhere, at least as far as I can tell, it's not going anywhere. Now, Here's why this is important. Here's my Mantis pod. And you can see I have the little fall cam clamp on there. Now, the nice thing about this is that, there, it's on. Now I can use it when I'm carrying it around on this Mantis pod. But if I want, I can pull it off. And now what I've done is I put another fall cam piece. Now this is for a monitor, but that's kind of the way it had to go. So I screwed one of these plates into the quarter 20 of this Crane M3, and then I just snapped that piece on there, and now I can. And because this has a swivel, 
now I've got power and it lines right up, but it's far enough out that my hand isn't being hampered at all, regardless of which hand I hold it in, and it's not getting in the way of the gimbal itself. So boom, I have now given myself power, extended power on either of the setups that I'm gonna carry my ZVE-10 around with. And except for this one, this will plug into the power of the, or like the, to charge the gimbal itself, and then the gimbal plugs into the camera and powers the camera. So now I'm basically charging both devices and they're working out really well. Once I get the plate unit, the new unit from uh, FallCam for this, I will re-follow up with that and show you how I did it. But otherwise, I'm just gonna chill. I'm still in vacation mode and digging it. So that being said, that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.